Here's some things you probably didn't know about the Super Nintendo. While the designs of the Japanese and PAL consoles were settled on pretty early in development, the US version of the Super Nintendo took more time and went through several major revisions. Industrial designer Lance Barr was tasked with creating the North American design, and some of his concepts are really interesting, with ideas for thin cartridges and even a crank for game loading and releasing. While the Super FX chip is credited for bringing 3D visuals to games on the console, the system is actually quite capable of doing it on its own, but it can't handle nearly as many models. An example of this is in Zelda Link to the Past, in the Triforce Chamber at the end of the the game, there's three Triforce pieces that are real polygons with true scaling and rotation. We've all heard of that awful CDI add-on for the console that was a result of Nintendo's partnership with Philips, but did you know that Nintendo originally partnered with Sony to make a similar add-on? The Nintendo PlayStation was so close to being a reality, but due to Sony wanting more control over the project and just more money, Nintendo partnered with Philips and made the infamous CDI instead. I hope you made lots of spaghetti! And since then, Sony's outsold every Nintendo home console but the Wii. Hope you found this interesting, like and subscribe for more.